Our next guest on Live at Five is probably the most popular member of Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band. The big man, Clarence Clemens, recently completed one of rock music's longest and most successful concert tours, 15 months on the road around the world playing sax with the E Street Band. Right now he is promoting his second album, Hero, and he's in New York to help kick off a world peace run sponsored by the Sri Shin Moy. Before we Excellent. talk to Clarence, here's a video of your friend of mine with Jackson Brown. Nice to see you, Clarence. And you, explaining uh, what's involved in this uh, uh, peace run, um, yes. I guess we should stress that it is a worldwide venture. It is a world worldwide venture. We're expecting 20,000 participants. Uh, covering 27,000 miles over a period of 103 days, starting uh, April 27th at the uh, World Trade Center. Uh -huh. uh, Carl Lewis will light the torch at the torch at the uh, Liberty State Park. Uh -huh. The boat, the torch will come over by boat to the battery, and the half mile run to this beginning of the race. With uh, we have 20 kids from the AFS organization from all over the world mm -hmm. and five kids from the Soviet bloc and I'll be playing and I'm just, I want to invite my friends to come down and be, participate. We uh, should also mention that there's a PBS TV special planned for uh, May, 14th, May 14th and in this special uh, the young folks who, who will be running across the world will be interviewed and express some of their views on, on, yes. on uh, world peace. In different parts of the world, there are, there are feelings of world peace and why are they participating mm -hmm. and, I, and I think that's, that's the whole purpose of the race is to to well, touch people. when you were touring worldwide with Springsteen, yes. um, I read in Glory Days by Dave Morris that in each city he had some historical information that he would relate to the audience before the con or during the concert, and the audience's response was 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 really great. And I wondered if there's a tie-in between your hearing response to his comments and this piece run. Well, there there's no tie-in there, mm -hmm. but my personal. Uh, uh, tie-in comes with what I saw mm -hmm. during, that, during that period of time, during traveling through the world and uh, seeing the American flag sewn together with the flag of the country that we were in being waved and seeing peace, seeing people who loved each other. And that inspired me so much to become a part of, of the Peace Run now. At the end of that tour, uh, you whipped into action right away, uh, involving yourself with uh, the Red Bank Rockers and, and the nightclub. Springsteen allegedly wasn't that crazy about you doing that, and I was wondering what his reasons were. Well, I don't know. He, he's my friend, yes, and and my brother, and my father, and and and, and all these things wrapped in one. And and when a friend sees someone doing something that they 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 express an opinion, and then of course uh, because you love each other. But was it in the in the in the in the form of him thinking that you were too tired, uh, that you should rest first, or that he felt you should go out on your own first? Or I mean, was it along those well, ways? Well, just concerned. He was just concerned, and uh, he was his opinions. And uh, right now, I don't have the club anymore. Which mm -hmm. He was perfectly right. I should never have done it. Uh -huh. uh, being an absentee uh, club owner isn't a thing. And since I quit drinking, and I, I don't smoke anymore, there's so no point you even so being no in point, there, right? Well, I'd be in the business. Yeah. <laughs> um, in the same book that I, that I was looking through, uh, now keep in mind that I did not see the performance, so I don't know yeah. where this ties in. But the end of Thunder Road, yeah. Dave Marsh uh, describes. Uh, Bruce Springsteen sliding across the stage mm. and planting what he called a soul kiss on you. Now, is that did I lose something in the translation there, or is no, that really what well, happened? That's, that's what happened. We <laughs> we kept it in the show. It's something that happened one night. When you're on stage with him, it's like uh, a magic that happens and things that we never rehearsed these things and they just happened. And this is something that happened one night. And he slid there and he was there and I I kissed him. It was, it, because I, I, I really love him. We, we're, we're good friends, and that's what uh, being able to touch a person, to kiss another man without being mm -hmm. worried about, uh, you know, whatever people think about when they see things like that. But this is a friendship. Well, I think it was brought up in the context that um, this was no uh, the Prince show. This was uh, this was no Alice Cooper. This was well, this wasn't one of those what you would call way out programs. This yeah. was all America. Yeah. And all American, and and that was the spirit in which it was. Uh, and and that's the spirit that it was it was done. It was just through friendship and people enjoying what they do. You know. Mm -hmm. Talk to me a little bit about um, after the uh, Red Bankers broke up, and how you felt about what would be your next step. Well, we kind of. My drummer, Wells Kelly, who was a great drummer, great vocalist, uh, he died. And uh, the Red Bank Rockers kind of died with him. Mm -hmm. uh, so I decided to go out and uh, do my own vocals and do my own thing. And uh, so it's like 
It's like a cleansing uh, yeah. feeling in it, a way, isn't it? It is. It's like uh, purifying yourself, and you, people are seeing the real pure Clarence Clemens now. Which is uh, dance, <laughs> rock and roll, which is dance, dance just joy, have fun. which is yeah. joy, which is joy. Uh, and in closing, we might say that the, the video that we showed with Jackson Brown, uh, Clarence originally had Bruce Springsteen in mind, but he was a little busy. Yeah. So uh, Jackson Brown did it, and yeah. it's been pretty successful it's for you. Clarence, we wish you good luck with uh, the record and, of course, the peace run. Uh, and we remind you that that PBS special airs May 14th, and uh, that'll probably give a lot more information than we did here. Yes. Nice to see you, Clarence. Thank you. Good Love. to see you. Thank you for having me. Oh, my, our pleasure.